God said, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. I said, well, we gotta fix this. And so I realized something, we're on an alien planet. This world is not my home, I'm passing through. Satan is the legal God of this planet. John 10, 10, he kills, steals, and destroys. That's why hospitals are full, orphanages are full, prisons are full, why? Where's God at? He's in heaven. Why's he letting this happen? He didn't let anything happen. He's not in charge. Humans are in charge. God will get involved with the human asking. Jesus said eight times you've tested me. You have not because you ask not. Ask so your joy will be made full. Prayer's not a religious thing. Prayer's a, it's a legal thing. You need to pray all the time. That's why the apostle Paul, when he got filled with the Holy Ghost, he said, man, I pray constantly. I pray in tongues more than all of you. When I don't know what to pray, I pray in the Holy Ghost. Because when I pray in the Holy Ghost, I'm praying the absolute perfect will of God. And the devil has no idea what I'm saying. And the angels get the flapping wings and devils are running for hell. So I tell people, are you filled with the Holy Ghost? No. Can I, can I lay hands on it and agree with it? Because you get baptized with the Holy Ghost. Because Jesus told his own mother, Mom, I'm going to go home, but I need you to go to that upper room and you, I, you need to wait there because as soon as I get, get home, I'm sending the Holy Ghost back and he'll do the same thing I've done. He said, he can be everywhere all the time. I'm now limited to the human body. And so Mary went to that upper room, she waited. And the fire fell and everybody shined out hickey mode who stole a Mahan and they thought they were drunk. I said, no, we're not drunk. And they quoted the scripture of Isaiah. We've been baptized with the Holy Spirit. Uh, the Holy Spirit's not for showing off in a church service. It's for making you successful in your own private life. It's for praying for your kids when they're not doing right. It's for praying for your wife when she's mad at you. Praying for your husband when he's getting lazy. What are you going to do? Man, I'm getting ready to rip some, I'm going to rip some carpet up back here. We're going to shine our hickey mold. What are you doing? I'm praying the perfect will of God. Father, you say when I don't know how to pray, that you'll help me pray. And then I can pray according to your perfect will when I pray in the spirit. So right now I'm going to pray for my daughter. I'm going to pray for my son. I'm going to pray for my business. I'm going to pray for my wife. Pray for my country. And I'm going to let her rip. And whatever I'm praying is the absolute perfect will of God. I don't waste any time praying when I'm praying in the spirit. And I tell people, you really need it, man. It's not to make you act weird. I thought, you know, I grew up in a Pentecostal church. What do you do? Well, you're going to get weird when you get filled with the Holy Ghost. You're going to shine down and jerk a lot and, you know, dance in a circle. No, it's not for that. Now, I messed up everybody in my Pentecostal church because I got spirit-filled listening to Loretta Lynn. <laughs> Somebody needs this. So, I realized I'm going to a Bible study. My boss is invited him. He's a spirit-filled Methodist, and he's, in, he's the head uh, chemist of Olin Masson. So, there's 10 of us in the lab. We go to his home every Friday night for a Bible study. And, and he's spirit-filled. He's a spirit method. He kept asking, anybody want to get filled with the Holy Ghost? No, I don't want to know enough of the ghost and nothing. No, I don't want that. So I wrote my Bible from Genesis to Revelation. I read it in, in six weeks. I'm trying to figure out where all the devils died off. Jesus killed the devils. I saw it in the Eastern movie. He killed all the devils. And I remember I got to Revelation about two o'clock in the morning. I realized the devils were still here. I thought, and I just couldn't go to sleep. I kept, man, the devils are still here. And so I got on my knees when I punched out the next night at work. Uh, working at midnight, I punched out to God. You know, every day this Holy Ghost thing's real, the tongue thing goes with it, whatever, Shonda, I'll take that too in Jesus' name, amen. And I punched out, I go get my truck, I'm driving home, got an old 72 Chevy pickup truck, I'm listening to country music, I never listen to rock and roll, I don't believe in it, I just listen to country music, bluegrass. So I've got Loretta Lynn singing, so I'm singing along, I look over my shoulder, when I get back on the highway, I realize I'm babbling like a tour, I don't know what I'm saying. And I, I, I thought, oh, I think I got that tongue thing. It's that tongue thing. So I kept singing in tongues with Loretta Lynn that I sung along with Conway Twitty and Johnny Cash. And so whoever came on, I sung in tongues. When I get to the house, I think, I gotta stop. I can't stop, I don't know how it started. I don't know if I can start again. So I pull up the house and it's late, my wife's coming out, she's waving her hand. She can't see me, the, the light on the porch is reflecting in the window of the truck. And she doesn't see what I'm doing. I'm thinking, God, I hope you can hear me think while I'm praying. I'm gonna stop. Lord, when I stop on the count three, please let me start again. My wife reached for the door of the truck. I came out like I've been in a camp meeting. I shined a Higgins all over the front yard. And I didn't shut up for a long time. And so she had the Baptist deacons come to my house. She had my Pentecostal pastor come out. They thought, I'd, they thought I was demon possessed. Because when, in my spiritual church, you, got, you had to wait on the spirit. We had one saint, she, she'd been waiting on the Holy Ghost for 40 years, down front every Sunday night. People laying hands, let go, hang on, let loose, grab hold, and, and she's trying so hard. I said, how did you get it? Loretta Lynn. <laughs> I got filled with the Holy Ghost, listen to Loretta Lynn. I love it. And so my pastor said, Joe, you sure it's real? Yeah. I mean, he's so messed with me, I got water baptized three times that summer. I did. I said, I'm an adult. I said, hey, dumb young again. I don't know if it took. I need to marinate some more. <laughs>